It's me again. Welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the Fox News today. MI-17 helicopters, kamikaze drones and 155mm howitzers arrived in Ukraine from the USA. A consignment of military aid from the United States arrived in Ukraine. MI-17 helicopters, 155M howitzers, radars, armored personnel carriers, and 300 switchblade drones. A new batch of American weapons worth about $800 million has arrived in Ukraine. Armament includes 11 MI-17 helicopters, 18,155mm howitzers, anti-artillery radars, 200 armored personnel carriers, and 300 switchblade drones. At the same time, we may well talk about the supply of anti-ship missile systems, however, this information has not yet been mentioned in the CNN article. According to data provided by CNN, the delivery of American weapons was scheduled for April 15, however, for a number of reasons, the transfer of weapons was delayed. Appropriate weapons were delivered today. Supplies from the Biden administration's latest security aid package to Ukraine have beginning to arrive, a White House official told CNN on Saturday. President Biden this week approved an additional $800 million package of arms, ammunition and security assistance to Ukraine. The U.S. agreed for the first time to provide Kiev with powerful weapons that some weeks ago some in the Biden administration considered too much of an escalation risk, including 11 MI-17 helicopters, 18,155mm howitzers and another 300 switchblade drones. On Friday, a senior Ministry of Defense official told CNN that the first batch of weapons and equipment should arrive in the region in the next 24 hours, Ukrainians will pick them up at the border and bring them into the country. Experts express fears that the American military, specialists and mercenaries could arrive in the region along with weapons, since the Ukrainian army simply does not know how to handle most of the weapons supplied to Ukraine. A day earlier, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the destruction of a Ukrainian military transport aircraft with Western weapons in the Odessa region. This is the end of our news today. Hope you enjoyed this news. Thanks for watching. See you next time.